trees like the one you see there. This image also from Southern Vigo County. Commissioner Clinkenbeard says the county has suffered widespread damage. Here is another photo along 3rd Street in Terre Haute where you can see the wind tore the sign off of a billboard. The city of Terre Haute said on its Facebook page that city transit is currently down as some of the buses were damaged. And this photo is from State Road 46 just after getting off the 641 bypass. People assessing the damage after large trees toppled in yards. Well, Zach Stidham, he joins us live from Southern Vigo County. He's near Ivy Tech. Mm -hmm. Zach, what are you seeing there? Yeah, it's a pretty rough scene out here. Uh, the more I drove around, the more I saw more trees and power lines down. Uh, multiple structures had trees on them as well as power lines all down the road. Uh, we also checked with emerg emergency management agencies across the area. Uh, the Vigo County EMA director says Vigo County has numerous trees and power lines down. She says area south of I-70 has been hit the hardest. She mentions areas near 641, Honey Creek, and Riley are some of the hardest hit. Thousands of people without power around three p.m. Just after the storms passed through, Duke Energy was reporting around 24,000 customers without power. Uh, most of these are in Vigo County area, but are also in Clay, Sullivan, and Greene counties. Also, Wind Energy is reporting over 2,000 customers without power, mainly in Southern Vigo County as well as Sullivan County. And again, we'll keep you updated as those numbers may increase and if more storm damage comes about. Uh, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Zach. I, I live near that area where he is, so I, I'd like to see what's going on, as I'm sure a lot of people. And you know your mother. And, uh, yeah, my Denise. mom lives over in Bloomington, my sister in the Spencer area, and yes, they're describing mm. the exact same thing as what we saw in Vigo County. Yeah, yeah as a matter of fact, the, uh, the strongest winds I've been able to confirm so far in this afternoon of storms was actually in the Bloomington area of 78 miles per hour. That's comparable to the duration that happened last year, which, by the way, Saturday's the one-year anniversary of that, so kind of puts it in perspective. Perspective. The good news here, look at this, no more alerts, no watches, no warnings, everything is calmed down across the area, so that's the good news for the time being. It's going to be calmer this evening. I did want to show you a couple pictures. Peyton Gilbert sent this from Riley. That is the storm was moving in. Here's one from the Walmart out on the east end of town. For the Kathy Stone's daughter actually took this one. You can see the darkening sky with that storm. But the good news, the storms have pretty much pushed to the south of this area, but we have seen a lot of damage reports. Any place you see a broken tree on there, that's damage reports, and a lot of that, as you can see, centered over over Vigo County. We'll be back with more pictures and talk about maybe some more storms later tonight coming up in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be talking about this for a while. All right.